Hello! In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the man with the upside down face entity. This is a creature right out of the Trevor Henderson lore that I find very disturbing personally. And uh, you know what else is disturbing? My hairline. Where did it go? Anyways, if you want more Trevor Henderson creatures, leave a like. I'm so glad y'all have been enjoying them. Thank you for the support on them. And without further ado, let's get into all the lore, the history, the backstory, and everything about the man with the upside down face. Shall we? So the upside down face man, the man with the upside down face, or the man, has been described as the most ruthless and evil entity in all of the Trevor Henderson lore. It's a creature that feeds off of pain and suffering and the screaming of its victims. This thing is truly worse than the cartoon cat, it's worse than Siren Head, it's worse than all of them. And you'll see what I mean once you hear the whole explanation. The appearance. Just like the name of the entity says, the creature looks like an average looking man, standing at about 5 foot 8 inches tall. Its body, its size, its general appearance is just that of a guy with one notable feature that's different. On top of its neck is an upside down face where its head should be. The entity is always seen as a human male and in all the appearances and all the sightings of the man, it shows him wearing a very dark suit that kind of goes down to his legs like a trench coat or something. But along with his face being upside down, the man is constantly showing the sinister grin carved across his face. It's not a happy or a smiley grin either. It's an evil grin, if you couldn't catch on. So now I'm gonna get into the timeline of the man with the upside down face. I wanna go over its first sighting, I wanna go over all the other sightings, and I wanna really just dive into why this thing is so disturbing and why you should truly avoid it at all costs. Pictures of the man date all the way back to the early 1900s, back when photography was becoming widespread. Now, the images were released on the internet once the internet became available to everybody, and since then, people have claimed to see it more and more. Now, usually in these pictures, the man with the upside down face is seen around these areas where horrific accidents have occurred. Things like car crashes or falls or train crashes or something like that. That's where these pictures are taken and that's where the man has been seen. He'll just barely be visible on the outskirts of the image, eerily smiling at the horrible thing that just happened. Now, the man has been noted to mainly appear at these tragedies and these scenes of the tragedies leading most people to believe that the upside down face man is some kind of grim reaper or some being that takes souls to the afterlife, a spirit if you will. However, it turns out that that's not the case. This creature is real, it is flesh and blood, and it exists. It's not some ghost or something. It's an entity that appears at these tragedies because it seemingly physically feeds off of the energy that they produce. So grief and terror and misery and pain, all of these feelings and emotions that are present at tragedies, the upside down face man pretty much charges itself up and eats and consumes those emotions. And at tragic events like car crashes and stuff like that, those emotions are very prevalent. Now during the stage when the man is feeding off of these negative emotions, when it's kind of like sucking the life out of the situation, he is invisible to the naked eye. You cannot see him. But if a photograph is taken of the scene of the wreck of the crash, whatever it is, you can see him in the photo somehow. It's unknown how it happens, it's unknown why this is the case, but it is the case. You can, however, see the man when he's not feeding off of the negative emotions. If you encounter him, if you run into him, you will physically see him with your naked eye. And if you do, that means you should get out of there as soon as possible, but I'll talk about more of that later. The man with the upside down face has also been sighted at scenes of fires or building crashes or other like sides and things like that. He pretty much just follows these scenarios around, seeking out the negativity. Personality and biology. So the man is just very, very sadistic in his actions. He feeds off of people's sufferings, their screams, their terror, all that stuff. And Trevor Henderson himself said this about the upside down face man. His face is on wrong because he loves perverting the expectations of how a human is put together. He loves grief and pain from roadside accidents, but any awful feelings will do. He's an awful parasite, like a leech or a lamprey. He's physically there, you just can't see him though." End quote. So as you heard, this thing is just so grotesquely evil. It's, it's more evil than you can even fathom. It gets some sort of 
pleasure and twisted satisfaction just from being at these awful events. And yes, it is also thought that the man might even cause these awful events to happen. So not only does he feed off of the negativity and off of the terror, he might actually cause the events that do that. Which if that theory is like 100% true, that would definitely make this creature the most evil and disturbing entity that I have ever covered in my career. Now it's believed by many that the upside down face man exists just to torment humanity as sort of a harbinger of death. And its one purpose is to cause these horrific and awful scenarios. Trevor Henderson himself said that the body and the face of the entity is just for show. It's like making fun of humanity and making fun of how we look. But it also can mean that the entity is using this appearance and this, this strange upside down face as a distraction or a mask to cover up its true self. It could be like a Lovecraftian horror that likes to watch people get hurt, or it could not be any of that. It could just be a upside down face man. Whatever it is, it's obviously very disturbing to look at. Either way though, I just want to kind of pimp slap him as hard as I can. The smile just makes me angry for some reason, I don't know. Now what I was saying earlier about if the entity actually causes these events to happen is still an ongoing debate. Because in a way, he can cause something like a car crash to happen by maybe appearing in the back seat of somebody driving, freaking that driver out, they kind of you know, swerve the wheel and they pop a tire or something, and then the tragedy occurs. But technically he didn't pop the tire, he just led to the events of the tire popping. So I think, you know, correlation equals causation in this scenario, and I do think that the entity does cause some of the tragedies. But every tragedy he's there at is not caused by him. He could just take advantage of bad things that happens, which makes it even more gross. And the entity is very petty, too. He's been known to lurk around these empty buildings and these old abandoned places and cause explorers to fall down shafts or jump off of high ledges where they're trying to avoid him. Just in general, he causes ruckus, you could say. Oftentimes he'll appear for just a split second, almost like a jump scare in real life. And this can cause people to just jump away or run away and get deeper and deeper into these empty buildings and run too quickly to where they lose their footing and they fall down their stairs or they fall down their shaft or whatever. He gets so much joy and satisfaction from doing this that he just, he seeks it out. The man with the upside down face embodies evil to the fullest extent and should never be interacted with under any circumstance. Now this entity is unique in the Trevor Henderson lore as well, specifically for how many times it has been photographed in the older days. From 1910 to 1960, there's a ton of pictures. There's lots of pictures, and most entities are not seen or photographed or documented from that long ago. So it's really unknown how old this thing is. It might be way older than that. It could have been thousands of years old. I imagine that it was there at the bubonic plague and it really got a really got a kick out of that. In the lore, he is the patron saint of tragedy and disaster and bloody pavement. Entity itself has a few other weird physical effects and attributes that I want to touch on before I end the video. It's been noted that the man likes to whistle, and it does this when it's stalking its victims or its prey, and it sounds different than normal. It's not a regular whistle like you or I could do, it's more of a resonating staticky fuzzy noise that comes out of its mouth like radio chatter. And this noise emanates and it just instills this fear in soon to be victims. The man also doesn't seem to need to breathe or anything like that, it doesn't ever inhale or exhale, and it's never been seen doing that. This might be because of its biology, or because it's some sort of otherworldly being that doesn't need oxygen. I don't know, but that's just a creepy fact I thought I should throw in here. Now a way that you can quickly tell if the man is nearby, if you think you're being stalked by him, is that if there is meat or food near you, it will begin to spoil rapidly if the creature is in your vicinity. It'll quickly turn black and blue with mold if the upside down face man gets close. This can be pretty useful if you're exploring a place where there's food or vegetation and things start decaying around you. You'll know that it's coming for you and you might be able to get out in time. Oh, the man of the upside down face is just truly a horrific and grotesque creature. As of right now, we really just don't know why he does this, why he torments humanity, but he's been doing it for a long time and I doubt that he's gonna quit anytime soon. We don't even know if there's a way to avoid attacks once they begin, especially if you're deep and alone in some kind of forgotten empty place. And usually I like to end these videos by telling you a few tips on how to beat the creature or survive the entity or something like that. But uh, there's no way. You're probably not gonna survive an encounter with the upside down face man. Sorry, because of that, I think we can crown this entity as the most dangerous creature of all time that I've ever gone over and I probably ever go over. 
So let me know if you agree with that in the comments below. Thank you for watching this entire explanation of the upside down face man. If you did enjoy it, I would appreciate a like. It is free, it helps the channel out, boosts my algorithm and all that stuff. Makes me happy too, so it's a win-win, win-win. And if you do want more Trevor Henderson entities to be explained on the channel, uh, tell me which ones below in the comments, and I'll be glad to go over them. Thank you all so much for the support across all my channels, Brugly, Toogly, and Spoogly, all three of them. Y'all are the best fan base I could ask for. I cannot thank you enough, seriously. I love you all, and I appreciate you all. Everything you do, y'all are amazing. I love this community we built here, going over these weird, wacky, internet horror things. It's amazing. Don't forget to tell somebody that you love them, because life is indeed too short not to tell them. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.